of his face basically without a branch in the way and Senzo will zoom in now if you can see a picture of this sleepy kitty cat isn't that just lovely flat profile raised up above the bush breeze blowing on him Jared's buddy you'd like to know if uh, Hosanna would recognize his sister Shongile uh, yes absolutely he'll recognize her from a distance away they'll become less tolerant of one another first she of him as she ap approaches two and a half years of age she begins to become sexually mature and she will not tolerate the presence of a young immature male around her even if it's her brother uh, and at that point she's going to start to elicit the attentions of the two older males in this area the Tingana and Mvula and at this I think that they still have a couple more cubs to father or to sire themselves they still very much a very active male leopards in this particular area with a third being Kijima in this area as well um, who's much older and bigger than young Hosanna but tends to be in a slightly different uh, area and so she'll get less tolerant of him is basically my point but she will absolutely recognize him I think and for a very long time as well I don't think that uh, I don't think that they lose that ability Ew, that is a beautiful animal Now, what's Steph, you've asked me um, if Tingana would share meals and territories with his offspring. Um, because they, you know, because they're related and because I suppose they share this bond, male leopard, apart from siring cubs, have no further or nothing further to do with the gestation period, of course, but also of the rearing of those cubs. Um, However, having said that, I'm of the opinion that leopard know where where each other are uh, to a point. I wouldn't say you know GPS accurate, but to a point. And I think that male leopard, although you very rarely see adult male leopard with their offspring, it, it's not uncommon. We've seen young leopard sharing kills with older leopard before, and interactions between them as well. But I think that they keep tabs on on what leopard are in and around and of course the bush will be infused with their smell and their scent and so I think they're a lot more aware of their offspring than what we give them credit for um, but as for sharing uh, kills and and you know experiences with each other once again it's not uncommon for for female leopard to stash kills and bring cubs to to kills to help them out and, and augment their diets is it have I seen it as male leopard before no is it feasible you know why not uh, I, I, it'll be a stronger bond between female and cub than it will be between male and cub does he recognize his offspring absolutely in my opinion does he keep tabs on where his offspring is and how are they doing in my opinion absolutely therefore is it unfeasible to think that he might at a point stash a kill and leave it to this young male he wouldn't go fetch this young male onto a kill like a female would but would he abandon a kill I don't think abandoned but I definitely think that he would he would allow co-feeding on it yeah interesting question and I definitely think feasible 